Hello stars, welcome to Astrology Moon. This is part 2 to Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, the astrological birth chart. If you have not seen the first part, then please look above and check it out first. This episode is about pinpointing all of the possible reasons and concluding what really happened to Malaysian Airlines flight. MH370 by using a natal chart and astral cartography. So in the last episode I did start off with the first Siri and now I'm gonna go into the second Siri. Siri 2 is how the plane was hijacked. This theory was conceived because two stolen passports were found on the flight's manifest. The stolen passports were of an Austrian citizen and an Italian citizen. Both of their passports were stolen in Thailand in 2012 and 2013. However, those two were not on the flight as the people who carried those stolen passports were. Another reason was a satellite device which was initially turned off 90 seconds after the goodnight transmission heard in the part 1 video. So why does this equate to a hijacking? In order to turn this satellite device off, someone had to open a hatch found in the first class section and go down into the electronics bay to manually turn off the communication device. Instead of discussing this theory in full detail, I just want to see where on the map could this have gone. So let's welcome astral cartography. This is what an astral map looks like. Remember I said in the first video that Jupiter is the reason why this disaster happened? That's because it is found in the 8th house which is right here. So this is Cancer, uh, sorry this is Jupiter in Cancer and I forgot to put Lilith on again. And there's the Lilith. So we go back to the map. And you see that this map has one Jupiter longitude line. And then here's the other point. And look, it's right next to Pluto. How convenient to play into this theory. The lines are parallel to places in Central Asia, which would be right about here. A theory is that the plane was hijacked to a nearby country of Russia because of the subsequent shootdown of Malaysian Airlines flight MH17, which happened on July 17th, 2014. It almost seems convincing by looking at Jupiter's placement in all of this alongside Pluto. But the evidence provided was that the plane only had enough fuel for seven and a half hours. Since the pilots flew halfway to Saigon and then back to Penang, that would mean that there was only 6 hours and 11 minutes left on the fuel capacity. So it's only 6 hours and 11 minutes worth of fuel. The flight couldn't have even reached Kabul, Afghanistan, which is a 7 plus hour journey. So here is Penang and here is Kabul. And this is where Jupiter and Pluto meet. This scenario would have been true if the plane could have made that 7 hour plus journey from Kuala Lumpur or at least from Penang. Let's take a look at Jupiter latitude lines. So this is the Jupiter latitude line. It goes here and here's the other point which goes here. There are two points where Jupiter meets the Sun and Mercury. So this is Jupiter. And it goes all the way down here. And the first point would be right there. So this is where the sun is. And the sun is natural causes for someone to die. So I would say that this is not a good place. The next one is Mercury, which is right here. Both of these points are close to where the final transmission was sent at 819, which is about here. At 2.22 in the morning, the plane was here in the Strait of Malacca. So there's only enough fuel for 6 more hours and 11 minutes, which puts it exactly down here in this area. So because the sun is of natural causes and it is down here, I would say that we can rule this out, we don't need to talk about this. And for Mercury, it's even further, so I would consider this not actually part of anything. 
So now let's go on to theory three. Theory three is about a meteorite which hit the plane. This would have been true if the flight had been here on this line, which is by Russia. And because it wasn't, we can rule this one out. This was very interesting though because there's a USA series called Manifest. Manifest is about a plane ride which took off from Jamaica and landed in New York City. So the flight, which was only supposed to take a few hours, actually took five years for them to land down. But the people on the plane actually thought that they were on the plane for only a few hours. When they finally land at the airport, they are told that they've been missing for five years. This is very weird, you know, a plane hitting a wormhole, but a very interesting concept nonetheless. So if this really happened to Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, it's already been nine years. Hopefully the plane can return next year. The last theory is theory number four. This one is about taking the lives of everyone aboard. This is when I think Lilith comes into play. So everything that I'm about to say is from looking at this map and it's not any of my personal thoughts. There is a latitude line which hits directly with Kuala Lumpur. You see this one here? This is Kuala Lumpur and this line goes all the way here. That's a very very special line. On the moon's line, it talks about when people want to hurt themselves because of their mental states, whether that would be depression, PTSD, or dissociative identity disorder. Anything discussing the mind in that kind of way is what leads to a person's death. So this theory points out to the captain as the one who turned the plane around and flew it to the southern Indian Ocean until there wasn't any fuel left in the plane. And this fits really well with the map and the chart. Because Lilith is an unknown factor so the question is, was it the captain or the first officer or someone else? Of course it's hard to see any proof of this so everything is just speculation. But what I do see here is very interesting. This is where Mercury meets the moon on the IC. So here's Mercury here on the longitude line and here is the moon on the latitude. This circle of area here is where most likely the plane crash. And where they think it crashed is about right here. So there was like a cone about this big. That's where they think it crashed and this is where I see it crash. Because flight MH370 fell onto the moon's latitude, which started from here and then stops around here. Someone wanted to control the destiny of oneself along with the other people. So this mercury line here represents death from oxygen traveling. It is theorized that all of the people on the flight had died from hypoxia. So mercury would rule this and this is where I see it coming true. So once the plane got to this point here which is in the South China Sea in the midpoint between Ho Chi Minh City and Kuala Lumpur. This is when Neptune actually became really strong. So on the chart here, Neptune is opposing the MC from the IC. So what this does is actually it ensues guilt and pain of not being worthy. This is tormenting for a person because this person has to actually think about if I feel really bad what should I do about it? Should I try to continue or should I just end it right now? So for the plane to actually go around back to Penang and then up here near Indonesia, this could have been when the plane actually lost its last control and that's when everyone just went straight to this point here. And this is where the plane finally crashed. The reason why I say that is because the way the people died was the Mercury IC and the moon. Two reasons. One was because other people could not choose it, so they died by Mercury. And the other one was one person wanted this flight to end, and that's how it ended on the moon line. And it's so scary how everything happened right exactly here at Kuala Lumpur. 
So usually when we look at astrocartography, we look at these points to show us what are the positive and what are the negative points. This will help us decide to not live there or live there. It helps us to understand where we're going to shine and in what areas. So if you like money a lot, then you will look for a line that talks about money. If you like talking to people, being social, then you're going to live in a place where social is on the rise. The whole idea is to benefit where you can grow the most. But when we talk about this, you have to look at a chart first like this. Find out what the reasons are and then find out how a person or people could die. After you get that information, then look at everything involved in the situation. In this case, it's a plane and use what you know to deduce. Without any of the facts here, it would be difficult to understand that someone is going to lose their lives in the Indian Ocean. But looking at a birth chart, it would be easy to say that someone's going to lose their life because of traveling. And then put it together, then the case looks like this. But that's it from my side. Please let me know what do you think. What theory do you think stands out the most in your opinion and why? I want to say thank you so much for coming on by to Astrology Moon. If you like this video, give me a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope to see you in the next one, stars. Until then, goodbye.